Hello guys, it's Stemboy, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this motion toucan game in Scratch. So, uh, first of all, let's see how the game works. So, I appear on the screen. Oh, so, uh, when, so when I move near the down button, so I can use my head, I can use uh, my hands. So, whenever I move near the down button, I move down. The same thing for the up button. So, up, down, up, down, up, so if you touch the fruits, you get points, and if you touch the bomb, you lose. So let's make this game. So first of all, we're going to want to create a new project. Okay, so first off, you're going to want to delete the default scratch cat and drag in a toucan sprite. Uh, I'm going to use a toucan, you can use another sprite, but I'm going to use toucan. Toucan. Okay, so I'm going to delete the sitting pose because our toucan is not going to be sitting, so we're going to have the two flapping poses. So our toucan is kind of big right now, and he's kind of uh, too forward. So uh, well, if any fruit comes or any bombs come, the toucan can move. So uh, let's um, make uh, the toucan go to where we want it to. So I'm going to make it X, um, 20, and Y, 0. Okay, and I'm going to make the size to 80%. Now that's a reasonable size, we can uh, now make our movement buttons. Let's make them. So I'm going to use button 1 from the sprite library. And I'm going to put, um, let's put Y0 and X2 um, two minus 200. That's kind of too far back. Maybe minus 190. Okay, that's good. And um, we can put the U, the letter U on it. So I'm going to use the marker font. U. And I'm going to align it to the center. Maybe make it a bit bigger. Okay, that's our up button. We can now duplicate the sprite. Uh, put it to the exact opposite location of the sprite one. So it's going to be X190. And uh, we're going to have it say D. Okay, there we go. And we're going to use motion movement. So uh, we're going to need to put in a motion video capture, video sensing. Also, I think it's a bit too front. Maybe move it a bit back. So now you can see me on the screen. Um, I'm going to set the video transparency a bit lower, maybe higher. So 100. So now it's like clear, but I'll set it to a lower amount later. Uh, not clear, I mean. So now I'm gonna. S so we're gonna have the video sensing on. So for here, we're gonna for the up button, we're gonna do one flag click. So forever. If video motion on sprite 
greater than 15 then we can uh, take well, we're going to broadcast a message and uh, this message is going to be received by the toucan and it's going to be when I receive message 1 change Y position by 10 so it will go up so let's try it out right now um, so let me set the video transparency to a bit lower uh, 70 so now the toucan goes up so I'm going to set to 100 again so now uh, we can drag in the same script from button 1 to button 2 Oh yeah, we also want to add the position, so if you accidentally drag it and misplace the button, you're going to want it to. So here, we're gonna, so we're going to want button 2 to send a new message. That's going to be, uh, I'm going to name it 2. And uh, when the 2 can receive 2, we could duplicate this. When I receive 2, change Y by minus 100, and that will make it go down. So now we have our 2 uh, player movement. We're going to want to add in uh, the obstacles and uh, rewards. So, we're gonna, so I'm going to use an apple for the starting item, the starting fruit. I'm gonna make it go here. Uh, so when it's clicked, when actually okay, so when when the flag is clicked, we're gonna want it to add the apple to set its X position. Set its X position to uh, 209, so that's where it's gonna. So it's gonna be here, and we're gonna want it to hide and not show. And we're gonna want it to forever go to. Forever set Y to pick random 144 to negative 144. Uh, that's so from here to here approximately. And we're going to want it to make a clone of the apple. And then we're going to want it to a bit of time so we don't want to infinitely create a clones so we're going to want to wait a couple of seconds so we're going to make a your wait time random so how long it takes the apple to spawn it's going to be random so i'm going to use one to three seconds and uh so it's going to go and create a clone. So let's see. Oh, uh, I show instead of hide. So uh, now so now the apple is going to random positions and it's creating clones but those clones aren't doing anything and we can't see them so uh, we're going to program the script for the clones so we're going to do when i start as a clone 
have a show. We're going to have a show. And forever repeat until okay it's there so repeat until um so the exposition is 209 so i'm going to uh, i think the exposition should be so it's gonna so we're gonna make the apples uh despawn around here so we're gonna have so it's gonna be repeat until exposition is less than negative uh 200 it's gonna So repeat until exposition is less than 200. Change x by minus 10, and then after reach the exposition is less than minus 200, we're going to have the clone delete itself. So let's see. See, now we have apples spawning. So uh, we can do that, and we're also going to add in an if then flaw. Okay, so that that's our apple script, and I'm going to explain more of it in part two of this video. But we're going to create the bomb script really quickly it's the exact same as the apple script except uh, we modified a few things so I'm gonna paint the bomb this time uh, you can use clip art so the outline I'm gonna make it completely pitch black and the fill I'm gonna make it gray and I'm gonna make the outline a bit thick and here we got a small circle and um, I can wanna just freehand the fuse draw some fire at it, the end of it. So, some red. I'm going to put some orange. So there's our bomb. Um, we're gonna group it so we don't mess it up. We're gonna align it to center, and we're gonna drag in the exact same script we used for. So we're going to modify the wait time so the bombs will spawn less than the apples. Ooh, it's kind of moving, so let me... There it is, so I'm going to drag in here and 
here, go to Sprite 1, move the script, so I'm going to make it, uh, 6 to 10 seconds, oh, so let's see it, alright, so that's our thing for now, um, there's going to be a part 2, because right now the bombs and apples don't do anything, this video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching